Uh, our family run a sheep and cattle property, sort of probably five or six kilometres of Glenelg River. We have to look at other alternative ways of doing it because like most farmers you don't want to build something to have it washed down. Your conventional fencing doesn't stand up to it. Yeah, we, we just looked at a, a different alternative. Oh, my brother and I yeah, just did a few drawings or whatever and work, worked out a, a uh, design. Yeah, and it, it, it been fairly effective. We've had warning as to when the floods are going to come, so to drop down the five kilometres of fencing, it probably probably takes uh, two hours. Or if it's if it's about on your doorstep, the flood, you could probably do it a bit quicker. So since since we've had them in, I don't know, they might have been there four or five years. We've had two floods over them, and yeah, the first the first flood that was over them was a fairly fairly dirty flood, and. Yeah, the, the, the damage has been fairly minimal. A couple of broken wires would be about the extent of it. With, with the debris to put put it back up again, like, might, might have taken four or five hours, in, including uh, you know a, a little bit of debris that got caught up on it. But besides that, there's yeah, we've, had, we've had no major issues. Uh, after seeing the two floods go over it, we've, we've seen the amount of damage caused to permanent fencing in recent floods. So we're we're lo looking to put a put a painting on it so that other people hopefully can ha have a headache-free fence as well. What we've been able to do with CMA, it's made the um, management much easier. Uh, issues with uh, lice and diseases have sort of been minimised. In in the past, you know, we've lost stock in the river from um, getting bogged and whatnot, bulls and whatever, and and, the, and as well as just the, the time involved in um, mustering stock and getting clean musters made management a lot easier.